Welcome back to Rich GFX. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own medal. Because why not? We're all winners. Jump into Illustrator, create a new document, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Then select the star tool from within the rectangle menu. Click anywhere within the artboard. Then using the following settings, radius 1 200 pixels radius 2 275 pixels and six points then press ok center the star shape within the artboard then select the pen tool and then what we want to do is remove the solid fill and just change the stroke color to green or something which stands out and then from each point within the star we just want to draw a line so from this point to this point that point to that point, that point, to that point, and then we need to do these other points as well. So from there, once you've created all the lines, select one of them and go to select same appearance then just group all these green strokes together so objects group and then before we actually turn the star into individual segments we just want to click on the shape and round off uh, the, the points of the star once you rounded off the points click the green strokes and then holding shift and alt just make each one of the lines bigger and then make a selection around both shapes then within the pathfinder tool just hit the divide option and then what that would have done just go to objects and group each one of these segments then will be its own individual segment. Okay, so now what we can do is we can start to fill this in with some color. So I've got uh, some colors set up and I'm just going to select every other one and give it a dark fill color. And then all the others I'm going to fill with a lighter color. Once the coloring has been done, just make a selection around all the shapes and go to object group and then holding shift and the alt key just make the shapes just a little bit bigger from here now we can start building up the other shapes which are going to make up the overall shape of our medal and if you think about the medal and the way it looks it's going to be mainly made up of uh, circles so if we select the ellipse tool create an ellipse within the artboard just give this any random color again we're going to be changing this after center that and then just resize the circle to where you want it I want it just so the edges of the star shape are just protruding past the edges and then if we copy the circle shape edit paste in place again give this a different color and then just resize this down so if you can imagine the pink color is the outer part of the metal and then the blue shape is the inner part of the metal and what we can do we can just actually copy and paste another copy of this Again, give this a different colour and then if you resize that down again we've got the inner lip or the inner beveled edge of the medal. Before we add any details to the centre of the medal let's just colour in our three circle shapes. So starting with the outer circle first just select that, select the gradient tool, select the first light colour and then use darker shade. And we want to set the gradient angle to minus 90. The next circle shape, select the eyedropper tool using the eye shortcut on the keyboard and just color pick the outer shape, but then change the angle of the gradient to 90 degrees, which is basically the opposite to what the other one was. And it makes it look semi 3D ish. For the middle shape, we can use exactly the same method. So on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool and just color pick one of these shapes. But then this time we want to change the gradient to the radial gradient with the lighter color in the middle going with the darker color to the edges. And if you do want to use the colors that I'm using, I'll just show you what they are. So the medium grayish color BAC1D0, the dark gray color is 5C6F85. And then the very lighter shade is EBEFF6. To make the centre part a bit more realistic, what we can do is we can actually add an inner glow to this edge. So if you select the centre circle and go to Effect, Stylize, Inner Glow, and you just want to use a normal mode with the colour black, Opacity 10, Blur 10, and if you just tick Preview, we'll just have a look what that looks like. Okay. 
and that'll just add a little sort of shadow on the inside. For the main feature of the middle, I'm going to use the exact same star shape. So using the star tool and the existing settings that we previously used, which press OK. Change the fill color to the darkest gray color, and then this will act as like the recessed area of our what will end up being our diamond crystal shape. Center that within the artboard so it's perfectly centered within the middle, and then I'm just going to rotate this so the top and bottom points of the star are facing up and down and then just resize that in the center of our shape. Make a copy or a duplicate of this inner shape by holding the alt key and just dragging to one side and we want to select the pen tool and just repeat the same process that we went through to create these individual segments. So starting from one point down to the other and again just go through each point like we did before so we can just divide this up into individual segments once you've created all the lines click on the first one select same appearance object group just enlarge that holding the alt and shift key to keep the aspect ratio making a selection around the stroke the star shape and then just hit the divide option within the pathfinder tool once the shape has been divided into its individual segments, we just want to ungroup that so we can select each individual shape and then just select all of them. Press the I shortcut key for the eyedropper tool and just color pick this middle circle shape and that will apply the same gradient effect to each one of the shapes. Once that's done, select every other shape and then just reverse the gradient. Once you reverse the gradient, make a selection around everything, object, group, edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then just resize that down holding the Alt and Shift key to keep the aspect ratio and just create a smaller copy of it in the center to make the crystal diamond type shape. And again, we can just group both of these together. To make each one of these segments stand out a bit, what we can do is we can apply a white stroke with a blend mode set to it, but we don't want to add the stroke directly to the shape, we want it on its own single layer. Hold on the Alt key, drag a copy of the shape, remove the solid fill colour, add a white stroke, change the stroke weight to 0.5 and the transparency to soft light when we can keep the opacity at 100%. And if we just reposition that over the top of our shape, as you can see, it just makes the edges of each segment look a bit more sharper, a bit more cleaner. Make a selection around both shapes, object, group, and then center this within the artboard. That should center it within the middle. Hold and shift and alt. We just want to resize this shape down so it sort of fits roughly in the center of the dark shape behind it. Once everything's in position, select the dark shape and then we're going to add another inner glow. So go to Effect, Stylize, Inner Glow. We'll use a normal blend mode, opacity 30 and a blur of 5 pixels. Just have a look what that looks like and then just press OK. The next thing we can do is the outer rim of the medal. And what we can do is we can add some little light reflections. So select the rectangle tool and just draw or drag out a couple of long rectangles, just changing the width of each one. Once you've got them in position, follow some more objects. Group, rotate them 45 degrees, position over your shape, select the outer circle along with the rectangles, shift M on the keyboard for the shape builder tool, select the alt key and just draw a line through the parts of the shape which are overlapping. Change the fill colour to a white and then using the control open square bracket shortcut just send the rectangles behind the inner circle and then we can just adjust the opacity of the rectangles, perhaps change the blend mode to soft light, we'll just take that down to about 30%. Okay, so the next thing, make a selection around everything we've created so far, and then just group all this together, object group, resize it down holding the Alt and Shift key, and then we're just going to create a background layer, we're going to add the straps for the middle. So start with the background, select the rectangle tool and just create a rectangle which covers the artboard. Fill it with a colour of your choice, I'm going to use purple. Send that to the back behind the metal. Lock the background layer to stop it from moving. Then select the rectangle tool and create three rectangles next to each other. So I'm going to use a dark purple for the middle one and then a white rectangle either side. 
group all three rectangles together and then make three copies. Now the first two are going to be the left and right side of the strap and then this third one which we can actually rotate so it sits horizontally in the middle. So with the first two, the left one, go to object, transform, rotate and then we'll just rotate this 30 degrees. And then the second one, again, transform, rotate, and then we'll do this minus 30 degrees. And we'll just select both of them, right click, arrange, center back, and then just bring it back forward one so it sits above the background layer. Move the strap into place. So I want it so each one of these corners falls directly in the center of the middle one and then the one in the middle we're just going to line it up with this point and this point and then just extend it out once it's in position select all three shapes shift m on the keyboard and then remove by holding down the alt key these left sides and then we can also just send that behind making a selection around everything object group and then just reposition the metal in the center of the artboard. Re-ungroup the shapes, then select the left and right rectangles, hold down the Alt key and just drag a duplicate to one side. Then from within the Pathfinder tool, select the Unite option, and then change the white solid fill to a gradient. Now with the gradient, we want to make sure both colors are set to black, and the angle is set to minus 90 degrees, with the first colour the opacity needs to be set to zero and then the location we can just change to about 50 and then if we just move this back into place it will cast a shadow just on the bottom part of the strap. For the back part of the strap we can do the same so select the shape, hold down the alt key, drag a duplicate to one side, unite all the shapes together, add a gradient, this time we'll change the angle to 180 degrees and we'll add a third point for the colour, changing the opacity back to 100 and then the one in the middle one change to zero, move that back into its place and that will just cast a shadow on the inside. That's it for this one folks, if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.